Yes? So, first constraint, we have a radical. x squared minus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. The other constraint is whatever's in the denominator, x squared minus 1 cannot equal 0. Those are your two constraints. Everybody follows? Yes? Now, I'm going to do this one first. So if we're going to solve, find which values, you're going to square them, square both sides. And you're left with x squared minus 1 cannot equal 0. Add 1, add 1. x squared cannot equal 1. And then to solve for x, you're going to square root both sides. Now remember, guys, whenever you introduce the square root, right? I introduce the square root, we have plus or minus 1. Right? You have to introduce plus or minus, because the square root of 4 is 2 and 2, and negative 2 and negative 2. Right? right? Yeah. Square root, like, so. Um, so there's, we know it can't equal 1 and negative 1. Now let's go to the inequality, and this is where it kind of gets a little confusing. Doing the same process, square root, square root, x equals now. This is where it gets confusing, because remember we had to introduce the plus and the minus, right? Well, what happens when we enter, what happens when we throw in like a minus with an inequality? We have to flip the sign. So it's x is greater than or equal to 1, but now x is less than or equal to negative 1. OK? So when we look at this, we basically say, all right, um, x is, so here's 0, here's 1, here's negative 1. x has to be less than or equal to negative 1, but it can't equal negative 1, so it's going to be an open circle going to the left. Positive 1 has to be Grex is greater than positive 1, but it can't actually equal positive 1. So it's going to look like that. And I think, yeah. Um, oh, sorry, what was your name again? Sarah. So Sarah's domain would be perfect. Negative infinity to negative 1, union 1 to infinity. Now let's look at this. Hold on, let's look at this. What values would not be a part of this domain? Zero. Let's just plug in zero into that equation. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, what's zero squared? Is zero minus one is, yeah. So yeah, that works. Zero is undefined. Any fraction, like one fourth, wouldn't work, right? But anything less than negative one or greater than one works. Okay? Yes? Um, did we have to do that first step? No, well, 